The Church of Europe is responding to Islam uh, in, in different ways. Uh, first of all, of course, um, quite a few churches are, well, had looked at Islam as a faraway thing. That, that, that okay, we all send out Christian workers to plant churches to, uh, and so on. That has been going on for, for the last hundred years or so. Now, of course, Muslims are coming to live next door to them, which is a, an interesting challenge. For some, it's a fearful thing because they wait, wait a minute. Okay, we could deal with them far away. Now they are neighbors. Uh, how do we deal with them here? Uh, some have used the opportunity, say, well, this is an opportunity to actually show what, what it means to be a Christian. So they're going out of their uh, comfort zone, out of their way, literally crossing the street instead of crossing the ocean, uh, to, to reach out to them, to befriend them, to, to, to develop relationships with them. Um, uh, churches are also now in the refugee situation. Churches are doing a lot of churches, not all. In fact, by far, not all, but quite a few churches are involved in, in uh, uh, humanitarian help, in uh, all kinds of practical help they provide to refugees, as well as using the opportunity to share the gospel with, with refugees, uh, welcoming them in their churches. Uh, some churches have doubled in numbers because of the refugees coming in, turning out to be Christians or wanted to become Christians. Uh, so a variety of, of, of responses have taken place and are taking place. Some of them are very good, very exciting. And other churches are still in this fear mode, I would say. They still are anxious, hoping that the, like the storm will pass uh, and they, the, that they can go back to, uh, to whatever normal life they had in, uh, before that.